Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Back out here, Sipsy Wilderness. So we are here. Yesterday we started here and today we're starting from the north end of the 200. We should be camping up near here. Fat Man Squeeze is right around in here. out here. Sun's out. Leaves are covering the ground. Good day to be outdoors. It's not supposed to be near as cold as it was last night. Thank God 25 Fahrenheit was a little much for my current setup. My new setup hasn't arrived yet for my winter quilts. Tonight's only supposed to get down to 40. That should be a lot more manageable. Alright, made it down to the bottom of the Trial number six, heading, about to head down here to the 200. How's that make you feel? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm Does good. it make you feel fatter? What? You feel fat. Me? Yeah, actually, a little bit. Okay. That's awesome. That's YouTube gold, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the video. Looks like we found camp for the night. What do you think? I'm thinking maybe these two big ones right here. Yeah, I'll make it happen. What's up, guys? So, got to camp, getting set up. It's my first time testing out the Dream Hammock Darien, so I'm still trying to work the kinks out of it. It'll be a while before I get it perfected. I'm trying to get the lay right, I'm trying to get the under quilt thing figured out. But she's pretty spacious. I got the uh, 10 foot version, not the 11. But I am enjoying it. So we'll be heading down to Fat Man Squeeze tomorrow. Check it out. And we'll be heading out from there. See you guys in a little bit. So Jason found out a very important thing about the platypus vags versus a Sawyer bottle. You, you want to tell him about it? Yeah, I just hooked it up to the uh, I hooked it up to the Smart Water bottle instead of the platypus. And it filters right through. But once or twice you might have to stop to let air in. It's a nice cheap alternative to the platypus bags. What was your main problem with the platypus bags? On the platypus, it kept leaking out of the side here. So I knew whenever I used the smart water bottle just to drink out of, it worked fine. So I started filtering through them. So if you decide to go with the smart water bottle, hook straight to your Sawyer Mini, you will have to... Turn it back upright like you just did, uh, loosen it, allow air back in, and then tighten it back up, and then start squeezing again. The more you know. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Last night I slept so much better in this hammock. Got down to about 41. The under quilt stayed underneath, so my adjustment worked. I learned to hold the edge of the under quilt underneath me as I sit down in the hammock as well. That helps. So it works out. No complaints here. Uh, I'm trying to get up so I can get some breakfast. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I really don't want to get up. It's, it's cold out there. Oh, all right, here we go. Still loving this. Graham Winnie Pro alcohol stove. Thank you, Grape Nut. It's an awesome stove. I got my hot chocolate, I'm mixing it up. But hot chocolate or coffee in the morning help warm you up right in the core where it's important. Oh, yeah. How'd you sleep last night? Like a baby. You slept better than you did uh, last night? Yeah, I did. It was a lot less adjustment from the cold. It was, it was a lot better. Sweet. Yeah, I thought my sleeping pad was not good. And then last night I slept like a baby. First night it was so cold, I just kept waking up and having to readjust. But eh, everything worked out. Sweet. So this was our camp last night. I had Jason set up in my six moon design, Lunar LE. This is a decent one man tent. 
The only downside to this particular setup is it's a single wall tent. So generally in the morning, the inside of the tent will be full of condensation. I will recommend you have these little tie out points that you tie out each side. Like this one's tied out because it helps keep it off you so you're not getting your sleeping bag covered in condensation or your head. I'll set up over here. Thankfully, my under quilt stayed under me all night long. Let me see if I can show you. Each side has elastic straps and what had happened is both the straps were on the, on the same side so no matter how many times I would pull it over it would have a tendency to want to work itself all over to one side. It worked great last night. I did order a new top quilt from Hammock Gear, a 20 degree. It should be coming in a couple weeks. Eventually I'm going to get a, a three quarter length 20 degree under quilt as well to replace my 40 degree for winter camping. And I do believe that will make a huge difference, especially in these colder months coming ahead. Only downside is they're kind of pricey, so it takes a while to save up for them. They have their Eco line from Hammock Gear, which I, I thought was kind of nice, which is basically $100 cheaper than their standard. The only difference is they use like an 800 filled duck down instead of a 850 goose down. And it weighs about five ounces more. Little trade-offs, but you know, if you're on a budget and you're looking for some good top and under quilts, the uh, Eco line of Hammock Gear is pretty reasonably priced compared to most. I've been using Hammock Gear's equipment for about two years now, and I've been loving it, and I have no complaints yet, and it's still going strong. Definitely look into that if you're interested. All right, we're getting ready to go down here to Borden Creek, filter some water. And then we're going to pack up and we're going to head over to Fatland Squeeze. See y'all in a little bit. So we made it down here to Fatland Squeeze. The ever running waterfall is still running. A little slippery, a little steep. So take your time. Welcome to Fatland Squeeze. Jason's first time in Fat Man Squeeze. Yes, sir. She's a beaut. Going on through. It's a nice little cavern that opens up in the middle. I've shown this before. Plenty of stand up room. The tight part is down here where you really have to squeeze through. Alright, let's move on through. Trekking pole. Ahoy! Alright, here's where I take my pack off. It's a little wet on the back. Oh yeah. A little snug. Whew. And we made it. Go. Go for it. Watches the wild Homo sapien squeezes through a tunnel. That's just too damn tight. Oh, thank God that fell off on this side by Lucy Light. That goes up there. How was it? It was good. Tight? A little wet. <laughs> it was a little wet. You ready to get out of this hellhole? Yes, I am. Okay, let's do it. Alright. Climbing out. The entrance. 20 degrees colder in there. This is one of my favorite parts at the Sipsy. You have these long cliff walls with these trees with their roots growing down the side of the rock. It's just freaking epic. Like something out of Middle Earth or something. And it goes up here as well. It's beautiful through here. This rock wall goes on down, follows the trail by another 100 yards. I'd like to thank Jason for coming out with me. Had a good time. Great trip. Appreciate you coming along. We're going to sign off here. Appreciate you all stopping by. This is Adam with the Weekend Hiker saying take care, God bless, and I'll see you all down the trail.